Jason Dominguez, The Martian, and Anthony Volpe, both guys not on the 40-man roster, so it would take some clerical work to get them on the roster if they broke camp with the team, which, let's be honest, both of us don't think either one of those uh, players is going to make the team unless something happens. It would sure be fun, though, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be a great story if they did? It would, 100%. But here's the thing. Saturday, first game against the Phillies, a moonshot, or if you want to say a Mars shot for the Martian, and then Volpe's debut in the split squad uh, in his first game. I mean, he has two hits and two stolen bases. So they're not going to really make it easy on the Yankees if they keep playing like this. And that's the thing. Both of those guys, you talk to the veterans who are around, the coaches, and they both say they're so coachable. They're here to learn. Uh, saw yesterday or the other day that uh, Dominguez was on a backfield working out with Bernie Williams. And as a switch hitting outfielder who's intending to play center field in the Bronx, who would I rather talk to than Bernie Williams? That's that's the guy you want to learn from. And uh, so I feel like that is a, it's a real opportunity for both those guys to get their feet wet, to come into big league camp here. Volpe is 21. It's his first big league camp. Dominguez is 20. He's the youngest player in camp. So yeah, to say they're both going to get on the plane and head north, I think that's a long shot. Uh, Volpe, I do believe, could be in the uh, the majors by the end of the season. Maybe if he goes to AAA, he's only got 99 plate appearances at the AAA level. So I think you have to factor that in, that maybe you start the year with him at AAA and then he can move up uh, later in the year. But I think that they are both so impressive in different ways. Volpe, I, I hate to use this comparison because it's really not fair, but I get a lot of Jeter vibes out of him. I really do. Um, I feel like you're almost seeing Derek in 1995. He's got that kind of demeanor where he's in the clubhouse. He's not Derek the captain yet, but he's kind of got that very, I'm here. I wanted, I always wanted to be a Yankee. I'm living my dream. And as he's walking around the clubhouse, definitely he's got a magnetic personality where people want to be around him. They want to talk to him. They want to kind of take him under their wing and say, all right, kid, here's how you do it. And that's been a great thing in this camp too, that Willie Randolph is here and Willie has really served in that mentor role for Volpe and telling him what he needs to do. They've been sharing uh YouTube videos. You remember those videos from the seventies where Willie was getting taken out by the Kansas City Royals in the postseason. <laughs> he was showing him those videos and saying, this is how we did it in my day, son. And, um, but there's a lesson in there in that, if Volpe is going to be a second baseman and he's going to play some second base here in camp too, um, get out of the way when the runners are sliding in. You know, even though the, the collision rules have changed since the, uh, the late seventies, uh, there's still things that Willie Randolph can teach you, man. That's a guy I would want to learn from if I was a second baseman. So I, I think that's a great thing about the Yankees. And what one thing they always have done well is keeping that alumni, the guest instructors around guys who, have been there, done it, did it in New York, won championships. Uh, I think that's so important because one thing the Yankees do better than any other professional sports team really is celebrate and live their history. And when you have 27 world championships to call on, you can have a Willie Randolph, you can have a Ron Guidry, you can have CeCe Sabathia, Nick Swisher, these guys around Yankees camp, Bernie Williams, to uh, show the, the next generation how it's done and wh what they need to do to get there.